The last week has been kind of crazy. Uh, we had not only had the Halloween trailer drop on Friday, but even teasers and uh, other sorts of drops leading up to the trailer. Now, I'm sure we've all seen the trailer, uh, at least a large majority of us have, and I'm sure we all have our own opinions about the trailer, and I'll just say it, it was great. Uh, I feel like maybe this trailer would have went a different way. I mean, like a couple of months ago, uh, before there were any re release photos, I thought maybe they would release a trailer without actually showing Michael directly, or not even a full trailer, but the, the, the first thing we might see is a teaser trailer which shows Michael not, not at all, or maybe from behind, or like you could just barely see, you know, the back of his head, or something like that, and um, I know that, you know, that probably wouldn't have gone down too well with the fans, but aside from that, it was an amazing trailer. And you can probably, you know, see from the title of today's video, uh, Halloween 2018 sequel. And I've mentioned it before, I've never really talked to the idea of having another Halloween film. And sure, this one looks pretty good, uh, but eventually it should end. And we, we all know it should eventually come to an end. So it didn't really come uh, as a surprise to hear that uh, Danny McBride and David Gordon Green had actually already kind of planned the sequel. And it's only a matter of, you know, how well this film will do. And it's quite easy to say that this will be a moderately big success. I mean, you know, ha having a Halloween film almost like 10 years down the road. You know, we had Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 uh, almost 10 years ago. And um, this will be the first Halloween film in a long time. So it's probably going to be a very big film. Uh, but here's what Danny McBride and David Gordon Green had to say to the guys over at EW. Halloween co-writer Danny McBride and director David Gordon Green talked about how they almost shot two movies back to back. We were going to shoot two of them back to back, but then we were like, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could come out when everyone could hate us and, you know, we'd never work again. So let's not sit around for a year while we wait for another movie to come out and we know people aren't going to like it. So we were like, let's learn from this and see what works and what doesn't. But we definitely have an idea of where we could go with it to branch out the story and hopefully we can get a chance to do it. Now, personally, I don't mind if they make another Halloween film. My thoughts were kind of against it at first. I was like, oh no, this should be the last film. But if they're going to make another Halloween film, I would rather it kind of be maybe five years down the road. I want to miss seeing Michael on the big screen. Once we see him on the big screen, it will be it will be awesome. It will be, it will be unbelievable. I'm not going to lie. But um, once, you know, that goes is a year, two years down the road, you know, you'll still kind of have the memory of seeing it the first time. But five years down the road, you probably won't really remember it all too clear. So to see it again would be pretty awesome. So hopefully there is a bit of a, uh, a, a distance in time. I'm hoping it's not too soon or not too long either because, you know, it's been 10 years almost since Rob Zombie's film. And I wouldn't want to be waiting around 10 years for a sequel. Um... But look, let's just wait and see how this film goes. Now, if you take a look at previous vid videos of mine, um, I mentioned how my thoughts are that Michael probably would be killed off in the film, but seeing this, it, it kind of changes my mind. Uh, how can they plan on shooting another Halloween film if Michael wasn't going to be around, unless there are multiple Michaels in this film? Now, I'm very curious to what Nick Castle's role really was as Michael. I mean, if you take a look at Scream, that does go to show that multiple killers work in Halloween films. And I could see that this sounds like a bad thing, but you never know, you know, what way they could take it. And, um... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's, it's just one of those things, really. I don't want, you know, Halloween to turn out like Scream. That's not what I'm saying at all. I just feel like there's a, a bunch of ways they could take Halloween that kind of separates the franchise from Michael. Because so far, we've only had one, if we're going on their timeline, we've only really had one film with Michael in it. And that's about it. Every other film was based around Michael, but apart, apart from the third one. But this one is... A direct sequel so they could really change it up if they really wanted to now we all know john carpenter never really wanted to stick with the idea of michael myers after the second Hall halloween film or even the fucking first one but you know they done it anyway so if john carpenter really has a say in how this is gonna go then he might be okay with the idea of dropping michael at the end of this film and starting afresh with somebody else now i'm not saying that that will happen i'm saying it could happen because anything can really happen uh, these days now, um, that's going to be it, everybody. I've been very inactive, but um, some changes have happened over the last week and a half. Uh, my, my network actually recently let me down, or not let me down, let me go um, over most of my recent videos, uh, because usually what networks do is, is, is they provide you with um, monetization, 
and uh, they make a, a certain cut off your videos. Now with my videos, how mine are different is I make no money off my videos. Um, you will probably remember and you probably recognize you know the film you're watching when you're watching my videos it's usually Halloween clips from any Halloween film any given Halloween film and there's usually music um, from any given Halloween film too so when when I put those in my videos I am no longer able to monetize those videos which means no money is made from them now um, that comes down as a bad thing for networks because they're not making anything off me. Now personally, I don't care really about making money off YouTube. It's not my intention. Uh, I'm doing this for the fucking love of it, to be completely honest with you. But they contacted me and they told me that my channel isn't looking too good and they let me go because similar channels that are doing this um, have a chance of being striked off YouTube. Now, they want me to look at YouTube's guidelines and, and try to fix my shit, essentially, but um, I'm not sure what I can do. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm making my videos the way I'm making my videos, and it's not really going to change. I'm not breaking any rules because I do credit the, the films most in most of the videos, and all the money that the, the videos would make go goes towards the Halloween uh, films, I mean, I guess, essentially, because it's going to whoever has rights to the film. Um, but... Yeah, that's the, that's the current situation I want to try to figure out. Um, networks can be kind of annoying, but like I said, I have no interest in making money, so it's not really a big deal to me. Um, but look, what do you honestly think of another Halloween film? If I was to say Halloween, you know, this is going to be called Halloween apparently. It's not even going to be called Halloween 2018. So if I was to say uh, a year down the road, Jace or Jason Blum or, you know, Danny McBride just tweeted this out about having Halloween come out again next year, two years after the fucking... Or a year and a half, almost, after uh, the the first film, you know, what would you think? Would you be like, okay, another Halloween film? Or would you be like, oh, another Halloween film? Like, I get it when you're doing a sequel, you kind of do them fairly soon. You don't wait too long to do them, but I don't know. I think, you know, if they do kind of wait a bit and uh, see how it goes from there, it might turn out a bit better. But um, honestly, I just want to know how you think I might go down and, and what you figure we might see. Um, because I don't, I don't know if I want to see Michael die, but at the same time, you know, having him live just leaves it open for more sequels. And with, with the way Hollywood is, it's it's just, it's going to be like a, uh, you know, it's going to be crazy with how many sequels they could, or how many more films they could pull out from just rebranching uh, it with this film. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it wasn't you know too uh, boring to watch or something like that, but. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and um, listen, thank you for watching. I want to make another video soon about the trailer, my actual thoughts on it, but because uh, there's a lot in the trailer, actually, like a lot in the trailer that you fucking wouldn't even know. Um, so many references and hints to the Halloween films, it's kind of funny. But I want to make a video on that soon, so if you're interested at all, let me know. Um, look, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, I hope. Thank you for watching, and have a good weekend, guys. Actually, never mind, the weekend's over. Have a good week, guys.